Hey guys, welcome back to Sage Rides. Hope you've been enjoying the channel. So today we are taking delivery of our new supercar. So the transporter is like five minutes out. So as soon as he gets here, I'm gonna put the video on and we're gonna watch the unloading. Hope you enjoy it. And again, um, would really love any comments you wanna put in the section below about different mods that you think I should do. Maybe I'm missing something, but uh, would love your input. Cause he just pulled up. Hello there. There she is. I guess uh, those are pretty fast cars. Huh? Um, <laughs> I don't know much about it. It has a couple gerbils in there. <laughs> so for the channel, it's a 2017 Audi R8 V10 Plus. 2,300 miles. The accessories. Hey guys, so in the R8, I thought first I would touch on two things. Why am I wearing a McLaren hat before you call me a knucklehead? Because I do look like a knucklehead wearing a McLaren hat, but there's some irony in it. And two, why I chose the R8 V10 Plus. What was the purpose of choosing this particular car over so many options out there in the market in the supercar realm? So number one on the McLaren hat, um, I found it in the back of this car when I took delivery. And I thought it was ironic because I was considering the McLaren 570S as opposed to the Audi R8. So given that, I thought it would be fun to wear it. Plus it's a really nice hat. I mean, it comes with, uh, it has a really nice logo on it and um, the material's really good. And uh, so anyway, I'll, uh, I'll get some wear out of it. So let's talk cars. So the 570S was extremely appealing to me. It was, it was a unique car. McLaren's really burst on the scene. They've got such a great lineup and, and the entry level model, the 570S is such a really fantastic car. It's fast, it's great looking. Um, it's got really cool technology. But where it came short in my evaluation was reliability uh, and I learned that from watching a lot of YouTube videos owners um, specifically Houston Crosta give him a shout out uh, owner of royalty exotic cars in Vegas he he basically reiterated over and over how much time those cars spent in service and I saw it firsthand I saw the videos um, why the cars were going down not just the 570 but uh, the 720s as well I don't know if he has a whole lot beyond that part of the model range but anyway um, I was a little concerned with um, the devaluation of the car over time with its depreciation I wasn't 
really sold on the sound. The sound is great, but I was looking for something a little bit deeper and throatier in the sound department. Um, and looks, I mean, can't complain about the looks of the car. They're fantastic. Um, pricing was fine for what they're going for for a used 17 570S, very similar to the Audi R8 V10 Plus. So back to the V10 Plus. So I chose this car because it is a little bit more under the radar. Uh, the Lamborghini Huracan was substantially more expensive. This being its sister car um, had a lot of pluses, the V10, you know, share, sharing the same platform with the V10. Um, I love the dual clutch transmission. Uh, the looks of the car are great. I, I really like the refresh that they did to it for the 17 and 18 model years. The V10 Plus with all the carbon fiber. And I'll go into a lot more detail when I actually review the car. But I felt reliability, Audi really nailed it. Uh, Houston, again, has a Huracan in his Royalty Exotics fleet in Vegas with 145,000 miles on it. And all they did was basic service to the car. Um, oil changes, transmission cha fluid changes, brake fluid changes, tires, brakes. But I, I don't believe that he did any kind of engine repairs or major repairs to the car. Um, so reliability is a big thing. Um, comfort in this car versus a lot of other cars in this price range was uh, really well um, discussed in a lot of videos. Uh, I watched a lot of videos that Fresh Kicks did on his R8. Obviously, Daily Driven Exotics had a couple of R8s, but I believe that those were just V8s, so they weren't really good examples of performance, but comfort, yes, there's, there's a lot of room in this car, and you don't have the back wall bumping up against you. You actually have some storage space back here. Um, and, and that's where I found the hat. And I found a sunglass case, but it um, wasn't very good, so that just went in the trash. So anyway, that's, uh, that's some of the feedback on um, why I chose this car. Um, technology is phenomenal. You can, you can see, you know, this full center stack dash, um, you know, various functionality. Um, it's, it's just really, really cool. Um, I'm start. I'm really just learning it, so I'm not an expert on how everything functions yet. But the stereo system, I'm going to go into in more detail in future videos. Um, some of the features I'll cover in that video, and that'll be coming soon. Um, so hang on. I'm going to do some more um, driving with the car today, and I'll um, include it in this upload. And uh, we'll uh, we'll be back to you soon. Spin now. Um isn't the first drive, but I wanted to get a little more comfortable with it before I took you guys for a ride. Have it in dynamic mode, which is the equivalent of sport mode. What it does is it opens up the valves and the exhaust. It makes the throttle response more aggressive, and uh, it just feels a whole lot meaner in this mode. Holds gear shifts longer, too. So right now I have it in automatic. Um, but I can do the paddle shifting and you'll hear the crackles and pops as it downshifts when I'm at a little bit higher RPM. It's just unbelievably fast. Just mind blowing. 610 horsepower. I believe the torque is somewhere, I'm guessing, is in the 450 to 500 pound foot range. But I'll clarify that and put it in. For you guys to see. I don't know if you can hear the pops, but it's great. And this is this is just the stock engine exhaust. That was about 65% throttle. And I backed off it right away. Now I'm at 1%. So if you take a look at the, the screen here, it, um, the entertainment, you can see it on anybody else's review. It, there, it, it, the MMI shows a lot of information, um, anywhere from the power and torque to you know, typical trip computer.
computer information, but um, the map is what looks really great. So you can go here and scroll over to the map and it'll take up the, the entire screen. So my, some of my next review, next videos are going to have, um, I'm going to go through the stereo system, show speaker location, the stereo is phenomenal, to me it's the best stereo I've heard in an automobile, um, including the BMW M5, which I've shown, and I'm going to do also a review of that stereo system and the speaker placement, and some of the other features of that car, so please um, browse the channel when you get a chance. guys thanks for tuning in if you like the video please like it and please 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 smash that subscribe button a lot more content coming forward um, any comments or suggestions on modifications I'm open to so put those in the comment section below